Here is how to bend an object around another in Blender. If you've seen my previous video, we used the simple deform modifier to bend an object, which works, but isn't as accurate as it could be, and sometimes can act really funky depending on your model's orientation upon import. I've been looking into the shrink wrap tool and keep getting terrible results. I finally found a tutorial by a guy named 3D Not 2D, which I've linked to in the description, and it gives us the results we want. This is me recounting and applying what I learned in that tutorial. The two tools we're going to use are the lattice and the shrink wrap tool. First, check your object's mesh by selecting the object and going into edit mode. If the object's vertices and faces seem too inconsistent, like on this Aquila I made, it may not bend and stretch the way you want because there aren't enough faces or vertices for Blender to work with. You can remesh it by adding a remesh modifier. There are a bunch of settings for this, but the ones that I find work the best are Sharp Mode, 8 Octree Depth, and Unchecking Remove Disconnected. Now your object should be ready to stretch and bend. The object needs to be positioned as straight up and down and perpendicular to the object you want to bend around. This will make lining everything up easier. Import a lattice by pressing Shift plus A and selecting Lattice. The lattice will allow us to deform whatever object we attach it to. Scale the lattice up so it's slightly bigger than the object you want to bend. In the Lattice tab, increase the resolution by increasing the U, V, and W values. We want the lattice to be a 2D flat square for the shrink wrap tool to work later, so in my case, I set the V value to 1. Parent your object to the lattice by clicking the object, shift clicking the lattice, pressing Ctrl plus P, and then selecting Object Keep Transform. Now your object will follow the lattice we just made. With your object selected, add a Lattice Modifier. And with the Eyedropper tool, select the lattice we made. Now the lattice can warp and influence the shape of your object. Apply a Shrink Wrap Modifier to the lattice, and with the Eyedropper tool, select the object you want to bend around. There are a lot of settings you can mess around with. But the one I find works the best is changing the wrap mode to project, setting it to the Y axis, and turning on both positive and negative. Then scale your lattice to fit. Now you have an object that's accurately bending around something. Great for making custom shoulder pads, curved windows and doors, or whatever else you can think of. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Consider supporting me on Patreon if you like what you see and find my videos useful or entertaining. Thank you! Alright, bye bye